Hey guys, it's Yadi Chrissy representing Jamaica in Germany. As a matter of fact, this is my first YouTube video. I've been wanting to start my YouTube channel for years now. Like I always said, I'm gonna do YouTube one day, but I have been procrastinating so much. I was scared to even start. I don't know. I was scared, I guess, to put myself out there. But I feel like I have a lot of stories to share moving to Germany. Like, I migrated here to study almost seven years ago now in October. In that time, I've also traveled back home. <laughs> yeah, to Jamaica. It's been now three years, so it's still a long time and I miss home. So I figured my first video should be about the 10 things I miss in Jamaica. Yes, guys, so let's get into the video. The number one thing that I miss about Jamaica, my family, my neighbors, and my friends. So I really miss my dad. I miss him so much. I miss his laughter. <laughs> if he laughs, I laugh. Like, he has such a contagious laugh. I miss him very much. Um, I also miss my neighbors. They're like family to me. They work like family to me. They still are. I miss them. You know, I chill at their place every day. Yeah, I do miss them a lot. I miss my friends. I have some precious friends back home that I miss endlessly. And it's not the same like texting them. It's really not the same. Yeah. So the second thing that I miss about Jamaica is um <laughs> the food. The food, the food, the food, the food. Like I'm such a foodie, so of course, like if food could have been first on the list, I would have put it there, but I think I miss family more. But like the food, it's saddening. I miss the food so much. So, so much. So. I miss jerk chicken. <laughs> so I can't figure out how to make jerk chicken in Germany. I miss Aki and Saltfish, like the real Aki. You know, not out of the can. I miss breadfruit. Like where the hell should I get breadfruit in Germany? But besides out of a can, which I don't even want to try that one. I miss Kalaloo. I heard that's also in a can, but can't imagine. I miss patties so much like i've tried making patties really like i think i've done it now i've made them now four times or so trying to really get that recipe but i cannot get that recipe straight like maybe the beef or the chicken the inside the filling of the patty will taste like very close but um i can't get the, the outer crust to be nice and flaky like the real deal so yeah i'll be missing food and i'll try to make them you know that's the sad life down here food jamaican even when i cook jamaican food here it's not really the same because I might be lacking some seasoning, precious seasoning, it makes such a big difference. So even if I make some rice and peas now and I cook it with some curry chicken, it's not the authentic Jamaican curry. So, you know, it is Jamaican, but not really Jamaican. I feel like in Germany, I'm not as fortunate as people in the US maybe, or in the UK. I guess those people have it a little bit easier in terms of maybe getting their hands on some of those products. I don't know. You guys comment and tell me down below how that is. So. That was to the food. I'm sure there are plenty more stuff that I miss. Anything that comes under the food category, guys. I miss I miss escovitch fish. Oh my god. I miss, I miss escovitch fish. Like, really. I tried making that too, but that wasn't sea fish. Yeah, that was the last time it was good. The onions came out good. Before that, in Jamaica, I've never tried cooking it. Because, you know, like, you can just easily buy it. Just the same with the patties. Um, yeah, escovitch fish. I remember one time, guys. I went to the fish market down here. And I wanted... I, I, that was in the beginning, too. I was like, I'm going to buy this um, fish. What do you call this fish again? Um, was it parrot fish? I forgot the name of the fish now. But basically the fish that we all fry in Jamaica, right? So I wanted to buy that fish and it was so expensive. And I remember buying it. And when I prepared it, it didn't come out good. Because it was my first time really making fish. And I was craving it so badly and I tried the thing. And it never really came out like the good, good Jamaican fish. So yeah, that was a fail. And then, since our first time I tried it again, the fish came out good, but it was just not sea fish, you know, and I'm more of a sea fish. So anyways, let's talk about number three. So, I miss the Jamaican weather. Yes, I miss it. 
it's funny that I'm saying this actually because when I went <laughs> to Jamaica on holiday, I was dying. I was dying. I would be walking on St. James Street in Montego Bay, going in every second store just to get some AC, you know, because I was dying. I wasn't used to the heat anymore being here in Germany for so long. That's sad. That's really sad. <laughs> Because considering you used to live like that for 17 years and then I couldn't I couldn't manage the heat anymore but I still do miss it like I miss being used to it as well because the opposite of hot is cold and it's not really fun to always have to pack yourself up in all of them clothes here you know like it's not fun yeah and it really gets nastily cold I mean it doesn't really get so far below zero it will get like five below or so but it does really get more than that but that's enough for me like it's cold here compared to jamaica trust me guys and one thing that i miss too about the weather in jamaica is that it's nice and breezy like it's warm but it's breezy you have this the, the um the sea breeze the trees are like giving you this cool breeze and yeah, I miss I miss that cool refreshing breeze to the heat because here when it's hot you don't have that breeze that breeze is luxury my friends it's luxury I miss it I do I do I do number four what else do I miss so on my number four I have just the atmosphere of Jamaica you know like the people there are so happy. The atmosphere. I miss the atmosphere of Jamaica. Like, the people there are just so happy. Like, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> I really, I don't know how to describe it. Like, these people, or should I say us Jamaicans, we uh, might not be the richest. We might have our problems, but... We're so grateful for life, like we enjoy every day, we live day to day. The problems, they are not the same problems you have here for sure. And those people are happy, like those people are genuinely happy, they smile. Here in Germany, everything is a bit more serious and I don't know, I just miss the nonchalant way about life and you know, I don't know how to describe it really. <clears throat> they um Jamaicans they really just make the best of every situation and <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Number five, I would say the fun activities. So um I miss going to the beach so much. I even forgot what the beach looks like at this point. Um we live like maybe 30 minutes walk from the beach in Jamaica we wouldn't even go that often but um, I do miss it I remember I'm um, going there with my dad and stuff with my cousins all of us and neighbors and stuff and those are some of the best memories I still have to this date um yeah I miss the beach I miss going out playing pool like that's not such a thing here I guess not so many of my friends here really like playing pool like back home I, I I miss um I miss the skating culture in Jamaica like you just go out to the skating ring and just skate a night you know like that's not a thing here somehow or I haven't found it yet um <laughs> Oh Lord, who knows? But um, I just miss like the music, the vibe, everybody skating. Here, if you want to skate, you go in a park and skate, and it's just you just skating. It's not the same, you know. Number six is the fruits. I really, really, really miss the fruits in Jamaica, and not just the fruits themselves, but like the fruit culture, right? So I remember visiting my dad, and. <laughs> He had so many fruit trees there and me and my cousins, we would run 
every morning fighting to see like how many fruits fell under the trees like for example mango now in season we we'll run under the mango tree every morning to scavenge up the mangoes <laughs> <laughs> we'll fight for those mangoes man we'll run 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 because that tree was too big to climb right so we would run run over there looking for mangoes and i just miss that i'm i miss stealing guineas from the neighbor's trees at home and we had sweets up at our at our place i miss those yo a lot of the fruits in Jamaica you can get them here in Germany so I miss them all I used to love plum and pepper and salt I used to, I still do but I it's been so long I don't even know what it tastes like anymore so yeah that's my problem <laughs> where will be guys number seven I miss speaking patwa I miss speaking Patwa guys like so much you don't know how it is like it's not like I have this big family here in Germany to speak Patwa with that's not the case or I don't have really a Jamaican community here in Frankfurt so when should I speak Patwa I speak Patwa on the phone with my friends still and with my family on the phone still but um i feel like you know if i was in jamaica i'd be speaking it way more i don't know i i just miss it like it has some kind of a vibe to it like it makes everything more nice i feel like um i miss it so much it's so funny how um <laughs> my brothers would be saying like you still talking patwa shouldn't you be speaking english now you've migrated to germany and i'm like i feel like for me that doesn't apply because it's not like i moved to america or england where i'm not so used to speaking english i speak german here in germany so it's a whole different language so just like how i left jamaica loving patwa i still love speaking it now it's not like i've gotten used to speaking english necessarily no not really no I, i'm just speaking it now like how i'd speak it back home so yeah that's my number seven uh what did i have for number eight so my number eight was hearing music everywhere like i'm not your i'm not such a music fanatic like listening to music 24 7 kind of girl but i do miss hearing it around if that makes sense like if you're in town you hear it playing in every store you hear it in the bus in the bus park you, you everywhere you go in jamaica there's music playing and for me like all these memories i have in my head i have like some kind of like some kind of a song is in that memory you know like if i was at the beach or somebody playing music and this song reminds me of that time at the beach if that makes sense so I miss that somehow because here in Germany everything's quiet. If you go in the trains here, it's it's quiet. Like it's so quiet. You don't hear like the noise of the train or whatever. So it's just dull here and there you always have music playing and stuff. So you, you don't even really need to be listening music or so. And then one funny thing about me is that here in Germany now it's so hard to just sit and listen to the music because um I easily get homesick <laughs> I really easily get homesick um, so sometimes I don't even really listen to Jamaica music anymore like yeah <laughs> which does make no sense it doesn't mean that I don't love Jamaica music I love Jamaica music but it, it really gets me in my feelings because like I said you see I'll hear a song and then it will remind me of something that happened back home and then I'll be Mm, sad for the rest of the day so yeah that's just me now my number nine is i miss the nature in jamaica the nature the greens like this year i miss the greens so much in jamaica i lived on top of a hill 
and it was green 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 with ocean view and um, everywhere in jamaica is just green and you know i, I miss it here yeah, now i'm i'm currently in frankfurt germany it's a big city a lot of concrete here very dull i mean okay they have a few trees here and there but it's it's not tropical like jamaica so can you imagine like i'll drive 20 minutes outside of town and i'll feel so much more happier just because like there's a few more trees out there and then i drive over two out of frankfurt more trees i'm like acting like <laughs> i get in the candy store just to see a few trees like it, it it's like it's like home seeing all that green you know and where i live now i don't see much green so whenever i see greenery i'm always like freaking out like <laughs> it's so stupid you know and back home you don't really cherish the green like that i mean you're so used to the beaches and stuff that you don't go that often you don't cherish it that often and but when you leave you notice those things they get to you like you miss it like here you go to a park to get some green or so like yeah, maybe people that live outside of Frankfurt or in smaller cities, it's it wouldn't be the same for them. But for me, I do miss nature. I miss greenery. I miss seeing. I miss hearing birds outside and chirping and you know the frogs and the crickets and even dogs barking. Top ten. I miss shopping, supermarket, grocery shopping. <laughs> yeah. So this one, I don't really know if it really counts, but for me it does, like, this is a random one kind of too, but I miss Jamaican supermarkets. Um, not in a food sense this time, but in service sense, because not saying anything is wrong with the service in Germany, but they just have like a different system. So in Jamaica, we were so used to, like, you go to the supermarket and they pack your bags and um so they would pack your bags for you in jamaica i miss that because here in germany when you're um going shopping grocery shopping you have to pack your own bags and it's not even that you have to pack them is that they have this small counter space right and they're like zooming in their stuff <laughs> so fast and yeah they're packing like and then you see the people like in the line, they're looking at you like, hurry up now. You're just always under this pressure to hurry up and take your shit and go. Like that's, that's how you feel when you're shopping here in Germany. No, no offense, but also, you know, like fix your system, man. I do miss that. So guys, those were the top 10 things that I miss about Jamaica. So guys, you've made it to the end of my very first YouTube video. Like, if you really watched through all of that, wow. Comment down below if you if you watched right through. I'd be interested to know if, yeah. Um. So first, first, please, I'm asking you guys, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you watched it right through or comment down below the struggles you're facing in whatever country you migrated to or currently living in. Um, let me know that I'm not the only one who really misses these things in Jamaica. I mean, I know I'm not the only one, but like, let's share stories down in the comments below. Comment down below some feedback, constructive feedback share the video subscribe if you're new yeah that's it guys for this video see you next time peace